Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this Japanese style house. This has been a long term request that I have finally decided to fulfill. I have lost count how many times something like this has actually been requested and I'm so glad that I've finally done it because I think that this thing has turned out really, really well and I hope that you guys do too. Not only have I made a house for you guys to enjoy, but I have also included a theme garden which I think pulls everything together really, really nicely. Although, this video is just going to focus on the house build itself which is this big structure in the middle of everything and the decking that is built on. Oh, I'll also show you how to do the inside of the build as well because it's really, really simple. It's literally like 17 blocks or something silly like that. If you do want to see the garden tutorial, by the way, that goes with this house, you'll have to let me know down there in the comment section because otherwise, I don't know whether I'll do it or not. You'll have to let me know down there in the comments. And honestly, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could give this video a like. I spent quite a bit of time on this build and I'd just love it if you guys could give me a little bit of support, hit that like button, and I'd really, really appreciate it no end. But without any further ado, why don't I actually show you how to make this Japanese style house. So if you want to make it, here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some red hardened clay, some block of quartz, some oak wood stairs, some spruce wood stairs, some spruce wood planks, some spruce wood slabs, some oak wood slabs, some wooden trapdoors, and some oak fence. Plus, we'll need every single other one of the materials that you can see in the inventory right there. So you might want to pause this video, grab those, and once you have everything, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to be making it right here. You're going to want to kick off your house with this sequence of blocks coming up from the ground. You want to do two block of quartz, one, two, followed by four red stain clay. That's one, two, three, four. Then take this fourth block and go right of it by eight. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then take that eighth block, go down from it by three, that's one, two, three. But you also want to take this eighth block and you want to go back from it by six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then go down from that sixth block by three, one, two, three. Come back up to this sixth block. You want to extend this sixth block across the back of your house until it is even with the very first red stained clay that you placed. Connect it to the front of your house and also take this corner block and extend it down by three. One, two, and three. Like that. So you want to have something which should look essentially like this. And this is the framework that the house is going to be built on. And if you want to make it a little bit easier for yourself, if it makes it easier at all, then you can also, underneath the red stained clay framework that we now have, you can kind of just place an oak wood slab frame underneath it. So you can place like a square of oak wood slabs underneath what you've made, forming a nice rectangular shape. And then you can also fill the center of that in as well, because we'll actually be needing to do that a little bit later anyway. And a little bit later on, still, we'll, uh, we'll also make the like little bit of a decking that we have for the house as well. But for now, this is completely fine. There we go. So, what we're now going to do is we're going to build up the rest of the frame of the house. So, this is the front of the house. We're going to come to the top front left hand corner, which is this block. And from this block, we want to do four upper right diagonals. So, that'll look like one, two, three, four. Take that fourth one, do four bottom right diagonals, or it'll actually end up as three until you connect to the opposite side to form a nice triangle shape on top of the frame. Do the same thing on the back whilst we're at it. So on the back, we just want to copy what we have on the front. So we just want to do four diagonals. That's one, two, three, four. We're literally just mirroring what we have on the front, and we want to do the same thing on the back here. Exactly like that. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we are going to fill in the center of this with block of quartz. Now, we might have to change this a little bit later on, but fill in your triangles with block of quartz, like that. Why don't we do the roof? Because the roof is actually one of the more difficult parts of this build. So, to do the roof, we're going to want to start from the same block that we started doing diagonals from. So, the top front left-hand corner of the house. And we want to do an oak wood stairs on the left-hand side of it. And we want to run a row of oak wood stairs going all the way up to the top. 
And we want to do the same thing on the opposite side as well. So we want to run a row of oakwood stairs running all the way up to the top, like that. Then, take each one of those oakwood stairs and extend them out in front of the build by one with your oakwood stairs. So just take those oakwood stairs and extend them out by one in front of the build because we do want the roof to overhang in a certain way, like so. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect those bottom outer oakwood stairs together with a row of spruce wood planks, like this. So, bottom blocks, connect them together like that, right? Take the center spruce wood plank and run it all the way up the center, connecting to the top to form like an upside down T shape. We then, with our spruce wood stairs, want to do upside down spruce wood stairs under regular oak wood stairs, and we want to do them upside down until it reaches the top in a fashion that looks very much like that. We're then going to take this top center spruce wood plank block and we're going to do an upside down stairs in front of it. Now, that is pretty much the roof on the front. We also have to do the back now. So the back is incredibly similar to the front. We want to begin with our row of oakwood stairs that runs all the way up the very side of the back. So it runs all the way up until it hits the side of that top red stained clay. We then want to extend the roof backwards by one layer with the oak wood stairs, just as you can see me doing now. So we're just going to extend this over like this. Then we're going to connect the bottom stairs together with a row of spruce wood planks. Then we're going to take the center spruce wood plank, extend it up so it connects in between the stairs. Then do a row of upside down spruce, or do a spruce wood stairs, an upside down spruce one in front of the top center spruce wood plank block. We then want to place a spruce wood slab on top of that block. Extend that slab outwards by one. And also take the original slab, run it all the way to the very front of the build, and have it overhang the front of the build by one as well. So you've kind of connected the front and back of the roof together. Well, now that you've connected them together, we're just going to head to the very back of this momentarily. And remember the same block that you, like, extended up the center spruce wood plank block that you extended up to the top? Well, also extend it down until it reaches where... If there were oakwood slabs, where it would hit the top of the oakwood slabs like that. That's what you want to do. Now, take out your oakwood slabs and do a layer of oakwood slabs going all the way around the outer part of the roof. So, like this, you want to do a layer of oakwood slabs that go all the way around the outer part of the roof. Plus, we also have to connect the front and back of the roof together um, in just a second. But you can see that we just want to extend the roof outwards by one row, like this. Um, then... Just connect the front and the back of the roof together using oak wood stairs. Really, really easy stuff. This this doesn't even really require an explanation. I'm sure that you guys would uh, would have probably have already started this, to be honest. It, it would have been a logical step somewhere. Somewhere in between placing the random row of spruce wood planks at the back and somewhere in between doing the row of oak wood slabs, we should probably have made the roof whole. But hey, we're doing it now. So that is the front of the roof. And that is the back of the roof, as you can see, almost identical. Okay, next thing we're going to do here is, just because we can, actually, um, no, actually, we won't, okay. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to focus on the walls of the house, because why not? So, we're on the front again, and we are starting from the very first red stained clay block that we placed, which is this one. We want to take this block and we want to extend it to the right by two with the quartz, one, two. Then, one with the red hardened clay, connect that red hardened clay all the way up to the top here. Take that top clay, extend it to the right by two, one, two, extend it down to the ground. Then, do a row of block of quartz between that bottom red stained clay and the bottom front right hand corner of your house. Where you have the rows of block of quartz, leaving a gap of one above them, do another row of block of quartz, so you have something which looks like this. Let's head to the side of the house and I'll show you how to do this. So on the side of the house, starting from the very bottom left hand um, red stained clay block, we want to going right do two block of quartz, one red clay, one block of quartz. Um, extend the red stained clay all the way up to the top and then do block of quartz again, one row above, um, well, leaving a gap of one, you want to have another row of block of quartz. On the very back of the build here, it's a very, very similar story. We want to, starting from the very bottom left, we want to do a row of block of quartz, two block of quartz, 
red stain clay. Obviously, we can't place anything here, so we want to move in around the spruce. We want to place a red stain clay, two block of quartz. Extend the red stain clay all the way up to the top, and then do block of quartz just above the windows, leaving a gap of one. Heading all the way over to this side of the house now, we want to, again, starting from the very bottom block, we want to do a row of two block of quartz, one red stained clay, two block of quartz. Connect the red stained clay to the top, just as we've done in every other instance, and then block of quartz everywhere else. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take out our black stained glass pane and our wooden trap doors. We're going to place black stained glass pane in the windows. So, wherever you have a window, that excludes the front, of course. Wherever you have a window, place a black stained glass pane, just because it makes it look quite nice, rather than using like just regular glass or anything like that. Then, with the wooden trap doors, we want to do wooden trap doors in front of the bottom of the windows. So, wherever you have the block of quartz, we want to have wooden trap doors in front of the bottom of the windows. Not the top of the windows, just the bottom of the windows, and the trap doors want to be placed in the down position, so they don't want to be flicked up or anything like that. So, we want to have something which should look like this. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the glowstone and we're going to grab the spruce wood fence and we are going to place a lantern coming down from each one of the four corners of the house. So that is a spruce wood fence with a glowstone underneath with wooden trap doors going all the way around. It's it's as easy as that, it really is. That's that's exactly what you, what you want to do. We can't place one underneath, unfortunately, but um, we want a lantern hanging down from each one of the four corners of our build. So this will take a second or two to do. We just want to um, throw all of the wooden trap doors on here. There we go, and then we want to throw the fence and then the glowstone underneath again it's, it's the same it's the same thing four times repeated and the next thing we're going to do once we do have this taken care of is we are going to talk about the framework that the house itself sits on so the house it, it sits on a little bit of decking it's really really easy to make honestly and um that's the next thing we'll take care of it's uh, it's a little bit tedious to do but you know it's uh, it's going to make the place look nice so there we go now we have a floating house Next thing, oh, something that I almost forgot. Here we go. Where we have the entrance here, right? Take the top two corners of the entrance right at the top, place spruce wood stairs in front of those corners, place an oak wood slab in between those stairs, and then place oak wood fence coming down from the spruce wood stairs, like that. Perfect, that's what you wanna have for the entrance. Okay, figuring out what we're going to do for the decking here, uh, we want to basically have a row of two oak wood slabs going all the way around the house. So, can you remember when we placed those oak wood slabs right at the start of the video? We want to extend that layer of oak wood slabs outwards by one row. It's, it's really as easy as that. And then we just want to add another. So, not only do we want to add that one row that we just talked about, but we want to add another layer afterwards, giving us two rows. And this will allow us to actually walk around the house and, well... What else, do you, what else do I need to say? That's exactly what it's for. We then, once you have your two rows of slabs, you want to be able to walk up and down on top of the decking. It's kind of difficult to place these uh, the, the, these stairs without um, having anything to kind of have them latch onto. But you want to have two rows of three oak wood stairs so, like, in line with the entrance, so you can walk up and down onto the decking surrounding the house. So, just have two rows of stairs tapering down from the three um, center blocks right at the beginning of the build. And then place spruce wood planks either side of them, just to make them look a little bit more interesting, like that. Then, going around the oak wood slabs, you want to have a row of spruce wood planks. So, go all the way around the slabs and have a row of spruce wood planks, as you can see me placing now. And once we have our row of spruce wood planks, we then want to have, on the four corners, so actually like connected to the ground, it's kind of tricky to place them, but we want to connect them to, to the ground with upside down spruce wood stairs, so facing a particular direction, kind of like this, so we have kind of like nice looking stilts, we want to have that, we want to have each one of the four corners of the thing connected to the ground in that way, so just do that. And then one final corner, we just have this last corner to do, just 
Oh, that was that was very that that just I, th this isn't going well at all. There we go, wonderful. And then all you have to do is place uh, is place some oak wood fence going all the way around your decking, and uh, we'll also want to do this right at the front as well, like where you have the spruce wood planks. Um, left and right of like the little walkway that you have going up. Um, we just want to place some oak wood fence there as well. So here, here, and we'll just connect that to the opposite side. So we just want to have something which should look a little bit like that. And that is the house, or at least the outside of it, pretty much complete. Um, the only things left are the interior, and the interior is really, really easy to do. To do this, we'll need like white banners, magenta carpet, red carpet, white carpet, a little bit of spruce wood slabs. And uh, on the inside here, we've got very, very little going on. Like, on the inside, I figure all I'm going to place is like a bed, like a flat bed. It's not even a real bed. Like, um, that's two white carpet with two rows of red carpet in front of it. And I figured that we'd also have a little bit of wall decoration. So maybe some white banners kind of like spread around the place. Because why not? And, oh, also that's the door as well. I figure a, a white banner works quite nicely as the door so that you can just... Can you not move through a banner? Yeah, you can. There we go. I thought you could. Okay, so you can just move through the banner, and I figure that works quite nicely as a door. And we're going to have a little bit of a table in here as well, and that's made out of spruce wood slabs. And um, the we're just going to place like four magenta carpet seats surrounding the table as well. That's probably very, very poorly placed, isn't it? Uh, that has to go there. There we go. And uh, there we go. And if you want to have any, any more actual like Minecraft stuff, you can just throw chests everywhere and you can kind of use it as it's more like a survival house than anything else it honestly is it's it's really small you can't fit that much into it but it's it's just kind of nice to like have some stuff in like if you want to have some stuff really really guarded if you want to have like a chest that's really off limits from anyone just uh just have some things hidden around in the build. I, I don't know. It's it's really, really nice. Um, you could add a second floor if you wanted to, or you could just have it as like a first floor and just use it to store all of your stuff in. But there we go. This is the Japanese style house. Um, looks really, really cool, or at least I think so. And it is made even better with the garden. I mean, the garden, I think, really, really improves things. So that's actually the house itself made. I'm going to be back in a second because I want to flip back to the original version. There we go, that's much better. So this is the Japanese style house. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I really, really did enjoy designing and making this and I'd absolutely consider doing another one in the future as well if that's something that you guys would want to see. You'll have to let me know down there in the comments. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. I'd really, really appreciate it and comment down below. And if you do both of those things and if you do let me know, I might show you guys how to make the garden that comes with this house as well because I really do think it takes this house to the next level. But you'll have to let me know down there in the comments. Follow me on Twitter, at TSMC360. If you make this and make your own garden or do the interior or just make it, make it in general or have stuff that you want to show me, follow me on Twitter. I love it when you guys send me pictures and stuff over Twitter. I really, really do. Also, check out the cards. Check out the description below. I'll be leaving links to loads and loads of other types of builds that I've made. And I'm sure that you guys would really, really enjoy that. Subscribe if you haven't already. I guess that's pretty much it. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Really do let me know about the garden.